Hey y'all, it's Ace. Uh, for the next half hour or so, we're gonna be doing an activity called goal setting. Um, as part of TLP, Kesem wants to provide you guys with some leadership development, just so that you guys have the same set of tools and skills that us counselors do. And for those of you who were in TLP last year, you guys might remember when we did the create and lead your own activity. It's similar to that, only in that we want you guys to be able to focus and think um, critically yourselves. But today we're going to be focusing more on our on ourselves so to warm up we're going to be doing a really quick exercise it's called the average perfect day and what we're going to need is a piece of paper and a pencil um, preferably it should be double-sided just because we're going to be writing later uh, for our goal settings but um, if you don't have one then you can use your computer or your phone to type it out but i personally just prefer writing stuff down because it makes it feel real to me and I hold myself more accountable when I write stuff down so I highly recommend it but basically all we're going to be doing is all I want you guys to do is think about how your days have been um, either during the coronavirus era or before it and then just jot down what the perfect average day looks like for you you can start from the moment you wake up or until you go to bed you can do whatever and I'm gonna give you all about three minutes and all I ask you to do is spend some time and think about yourself and then write whatever comes to mind for your average day. And once we come back, I'd like to hear about two or three from you guys. Okay, so we are now going to focus on our next activity, which is goal setting. Goal setting is important because as we get older, often we start to have more responsibilities and a higher workload. And that can be difficult to balance if we aren't organized and focused. So writing down our goals can keep us organized on what we want to achieve. And it can kind of make it realer when we know it is written down. I personally do a similar thing because it keeps me on top of my ambitions and prevents me from feeling super overwhelmed at times. The type of goal setting that we're going to do today is called SMART Goals. And to introduce you to it, I'm going to show you all a quick video that explains exactly what it is. Okay, so to recap, uh, SMART goals mean specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-based. Here at Kessum, we want to do SMART E goals. So that means um, an extra IE at the end, and the I stands for inclusion, and the E stands for equitable. Um, the goal of this activity is to have you guys all create your own SMART E goals for this week of camp. Or you can do it for outside of camp, that works too. It's totally up to your preference. I just want us to be able to practice this and see if you guys like this system. Um, so with the piece of paper that you guys had earlier, I want you guys to write down um, your SMARTY goals. It can be serious or casual, but I just want you to follow through the steps and see how it works for you. Um, I'll give you guys about five minutes and after this we'll regroup and then we can share again.